I'm Clint, but my friends just call me Taz, which is really just my last name shortened. I've always wanted to be an athlete and a filmmaker, and although I'm nowhere close right now, this is the document of my journey. Anyway, today I'm shooting a featured post or a sponsored post for both my Instagram and TikTok. I thought what better YouTube video to post for my daily YouTube videos, going kind of the behind the scenes of how I shoot one of these posts. I have my 360 cam, because obviously I'm gonna be shooting the video on my main cam. This has my B cam to show kind of some of the behind the scenes and uh, what my thought process is behind shooting one of these ads. Wow, so I just shot everything in horizontal instead of vertical, and now all of that footage is gonna be unusable for nine by 16, so need to reshoot everything okay so my idea for this ad is to do a whole bunch of quick cuts at the start of the video so what I'm planning on filming is cutting open the box throwing product down on the table cutting off the zip tie of the product and then next shots which I'm gonna be shooting here outside I'll have to turn the camera vertical again for that Instagram and TikTok crop next shots are gonna be throwing this onto the car showing skis and boards going on. And then the final couple shots will be showing, oh, my new laptop here. Um, final couple shots will be showing how this doesn't come off when you're driving your car at speed. Okay, this is a little bit of a sidetrack from the original purposes of this video, which again, was to talk about me shooting a sponsored post and kind of the behind the scenes of how I do that. But this is giving you, I feel like added behind the scenes. My laptop from 2015 was no longer able to handle the 4K 10-bit footage that's coming out of my new camera. Editing was taking forever because it literally just couldn't play back the footage. So I bought myself a little Christmas present. <sighs> Oh man. So let's open this thing together and then we'll get back to the video that I originally had planned. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the best part about buying a new Apple product right here. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Wow. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. I can't tell if the focus is going or not. New 16 inch MacBook Pro. I got the M3 Max chip because I heard that it, it makes this computer an editing beast. And so I am very excited to start editing on this thing. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So I've implored the help of both my brother and my dad for this ad because I need a driving shot to really show off the fact that the snow strip stays on while you're driving. And so I think the best way to do that is me hanging out the window a little bit and showing the product while we're moving at speed. So, got my dad driving, got my brother about to film. What's up? And we're shooting a little family ad here. It's the next morning, I just finished editing both the vlog and the ad, and I think the ad turned out kind of how I wanted it. I think the beginning kind of pulls you in, gives you that good hook. The video still gives you uh, enough information to kind of know what the product is doing, but kind of still have a few questions that you need to explore on your own. And then shows off the uh, product name enough that you could find it online and that you would, you see it more than a few times in the video. And then I think it highlights the one area that I don't feel like this company is advertising towards, which is that this thing stays on your car all winter. I get questions all the time of, oh, do you have to take that off every time? Or, hey man, you forgot to take off your snow strip. No, this, this thing stays on my car all winter. I never take it off. And so I really wanted to highlight that because I feel like people don't fully understand what the product is. And that is a full time, you know, ski leaning device on the side of your car. So I'm gonna now play the actual ad that I posted. Again, it's gonna be in vertical, kind of how some of the other clips have been. So you guys all have the black bars on the side, sadly. Um, but again, I shot this for Instagram and TikTok, not for YouTube. 
So I'm gonna play that ad. It's also gonna be posted on my Instagram and TikTok. If you guys aren't already following me on one or both of those, I'd really appreciate a like or even a comment on this video. Um, it helps me out more than you guys could even imagine. So anyway, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.